What's going on guys? So I'm out here in the Van Lee booth in Elkhart, Indiana, and we're about to take a look at this Van Lee Pinecrest fifth wheel. This is a new mid bunk offering that they have, and it's pretty nice. They've done a good job with it. So we're gonna hop inside of this RV real quick and take a look, I'll be right back. So this is the 392 MBP, so that's mid bunk Pinecrest. As you go inside, they've done a really good job in here. The wood tones are definitely what you have come to expect from a Van Lee product. It's got the mock air conditioning system here in the back. It's a very quiet air conditioning system. You can see your flat screen TV there, your wide fireplace at the bottom. Very comfortable looking seating here too, both your theater and your sofa. Has some really interesting wood tones and colors. Lots of countertop space as well. And check out this storage area back here. Lots of space here. They definitely gave you a good amount of storage space in this coach. Nice LG residential refrigerator. Let's go into the mid bunk area. So here is your mid bunk. Again, the same tones kind of follow you into here as well. Have a nice little desk area here. Or cabinet storage. Going upstairs, first thing you'll notice is that the flooring continues on into the bedroom. Nice loft above the mid bunk. Have a shelf over there to store things that you might need. And here's your ladder to get up. Has a one piece shower stall system, as well as some nice areas for toiletries. A lot of room in front of the toilet and a nice looking little sink area here with some storage. Going into the master bedroom, this is a mid profile unit so the ceiling height is a little bit lower. This has the mock air conditioning system so it's a very quiet system especially compared to some of the other ones on the market. King size bed, a lot of room on each side, huge closet up front and space for a washer and dryer. So that's very nice. Coming around, you have a nice dresser area here to store what you need. And your TV connections and everything will be right here. This is a nice floor plan. All right guys, so now we're gonna walk around the outside of this one. It has Westlake G-rated tires. It does not have a suspension equalizer. Looking at the frame, it is a 10 inch I-beam frame. This is a straight frame, so there's no drop section to this specific one. Uses rack and pinion slides on this side. Over here, all LED lighting, wired for a Furion backup camera. On this side, it has a Schwintec slide up front, Schwintec slide for the mid bunk, and a rack and pinion slide back here, as you can see. This also uses the ground control auto leveling system. So the ground control system is gonna be the electric auto leveling system. Let's take a look at the uh, storage compartment here and the wet bay. Wow, so they give you a really good amount of storage in here. You can see how it's all aluminum framed up top. A lot of storage, this is actually surprising to me. I did not expect it to be this much storage. Plus you have your wet bay right here for all your connections and your switches to change those connections. 50 amp connection, of course. Thing runs dual AC units. And you have the thicker baggage doors. Again, Schwintec slide system and Schwintec slide system. Coming around to the front, there is no upgraded pin box on this specific model, but that does give you the flexibility of putting whichever pin box you favor, whether it's a goose box or whether it's a trailer. So this is a pretty cool floor plan. Definitely nice to see that they've moved into the mid bunk space because they haven't had a mid bunk and to introduce one with the pine crest is really nice. I definitely like the wood tones and everything on the inside of this coach. They have a nice little cook area that can slide out. So this I believe is gonna have a cooktop underneath it. It would be nice to see a sink in here. Let's see what we got going on in here. More storage. That's also nice. I like the fact that they're utilizing space that would otherwise be dead as storage space. You can see how this kind of shares the same space with the storage 
inside of the front basement area. Very cool. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.